Peggy 12. Among all the traditional Chinese instruments, there's only two instruments named gu, because gu means old, meaning that gu zheng is a very old instrument. It's been around for more than 3,000 years. It's still around today, actually. At the beginning of the beginning, we don't have a score. It's the master who will orally teach his students with fingers how to play. And after a period of time, scores of music begin to appear. But it's written in characters. And in these characters, we can see which finger touches which string. With the left hand, which place, and how long. But there's no notes in them. And in the score, it's always written which master had taught it, who played it, which version, etc. Though at first, the wild goose that you see here is in fact the shape of the flying goose and the strings were made from silk. So the bird carries the silk. And after, you'll notice an instrument that resides in it. It's the dragon. It resides behind three holes to release the sound called the Dragon's Lake. In the Zhu civilization, it's interesting, in China's history, during this time period, Zhu is a dynasty where music is very important, meaning that music is like a politeness. And it's at this moment that there's a man named Zhu Gong. He's the one who makes the rules of polite music. There's music for all the different ceremonies. And this rule is very important for the Chinese culture because it's continued until this day. And in the Ming Dynasty, Gu Zheng's music, for example, becomes popular. We can hear it in the street, we can hear it in the tea rooms, it becomes very popular.